these experiences where people who have nothing other than a briefcase, they go into collusion with elements in the Ministry of Justice. They wrap up an agreement which is made to favor them, even as they show no competence, no evidence of competence that they can get the job done. And when they can't do the job, you ask them to leave, we are asked to pay some money to allow those who have the competence to do it. That is my summary of all that has happened. And typically, why I say it is within our power, Mr. President, shall we, on another occasion, enact a law that says a dispute arising from commercial transaction in Nigeria, the arbitration, where necessary, must be on the soil of Nigeria and not in a foreign country. We are a sovereign nation. And I can see that it is Nigeria lawyers and government officials in the Ministry of Justice over the years, they always enter into an agreement that disfavors the country to the benefit of private investors who pay a penal for admitting to be warded in a way that Nigeria is in trouble. Now, our now there are no issues again. No money has been paid. Sunrise has the right as a local content to contest and to bid for such projects. Now that the present administration has also taken this as one of its legacy projects, we commend the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to have taken this bold initiative. And he has taken this project away from the NSIA and give it to the Green Infrastructural Fund. And they are ready to fund. But also, sir, I want to let us adhere strictly to the prayer of this motion. Let us have an ad hoc committee in place, not only to carry out this investigative hearing, but also to follow through with whatever is happening in this particular area, so that Nigeria, for once, if this additional 3,050 megawatt will come into our system, it will go a long way to help businesses create more employment and also move this country forward. What, as a country, we are losing beyond the 3,050 megawatts, even the nature in Mambila, the tourism that it will attract to Mambila. The agricultural opportunities in Mambila are beyond anybody's imagination. For any government to have priority in Nigeria, I believe that Mambila Hydro Project should be that number one priority in terms of infrastructural development. Not roads, not, roll, not railway. Because if you have power, 3,000 megawatts 100 megawatts are more than enough to virtually each and every state in Nigeria. And in one place, you can mobilize and generate 3,000 megawatts, and yet over the years, we've been playing politics with this. Mr. President, something is wrong with us. It's a very important motion because power is sine qua non for an industrial nation. Any nations that want to get it right in terms of industrialization, Power is San Kwanon. You can't do without it. And the issue of uh, Mambila has been around since for the past 25 years. When I was in the House of Representatives, it was there, we are part of it, but it couldn't be actualized. And now we have come to a, I mean, going by the revelation by Senator Sane Musa, we can say that the project is good to go. So I stand, I stand to give my full support to this very important motion that is meant to change the economic and the cell landscape of Nigeria. Uh, this single project, as already said by the mover, will generate 3,050 megawatts of electricity. Bear in mind that the present generation for the whole country with all the dams, with all the power plants, with all the 10 projects of NIPP, the generation is not more than always around, hovering around 3,500, 4,000, 5,000 megawatts. So if we can get one source that will just bring in 3,000, you can imagine the positive change that will happen to the country.
But unfortunately, despite the glaring and obvious importance of this project, this project has suffered so many setbacks. Um, also worried that the agreement between a Russian firm and the Republic of Niger to construct the Kandaji hydropower project located about 180 kilometers northwest of the capital Niamey along the Niger River will reduce the volume of water supply to and hamper the capacity of Kainji Dam to generate electricity for Nigeria. Encouraged by the proactive steps taken by His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmad Tinubu, in attending and taking action at COP28 Climate Summit in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, UAE, in December 2023, to improve Nigeria's electricity supply through the renewable energy. Right. Resolve, urge the Senate Committee on Finance, in collaboration with the Federal Minister of Finance, to include the Mambila Hydroelectric Project funding, project funding as part of the legacy project and the 15% counterpart funding, which is 868 million 800,000 USD to be funded from the Renewed Hope Infrastructural Development Funds. Yes. Um, as a chair committee on local content, I would say that I have received quite a few petitions with regards to the ownership or the legal tussles around the Mambila project. So as we are asking on the president to consider this as one of the key projects of his administration, it is also important that we tidy all ends. Contracts that are non-binding should be laid to rest. Any arbitration that is ongoing must be looked into. And we should be very mindful not to pacify people, just people or companies that do not have capacity, but to pacify them in, and incorporate them into local countries. We should be very careful of that, sir. 